I'm Rick Johansson, and this is Iron Echo Design. I'm gonna show you how you can use Inkscape to create custom color palettes from a source image, just like this with one click. It's very easy to do. I'll show you how to set it up. It's in response to comments I've been getting about how do you get those little palettes in the videos, like this one right here, this one right here. And then I had this one today. When you do tutorials, there's always a color template on your desktop. How do you do that? It's really easy. It's so easy, I'm gonna do it one-handed because I'm too sweaty from basketball. You're gonna take a source image, this one from Pexels, and you'll create a square. This will just be one of the squares in the color palette. Here, I'll make a new one. Take your square tool, draw open your square. Mine's looking like a rectangle. If you only have one hand at the moment, you can go up to the height and width in the control area. It's gonna be 34.5, 34.5. And on the fill and stroke menu, if you don't have it, it's under object, fill and stroke. For the fill, rather than have a set color, go over to this question mark. That's called unset paint. Make it undefined so it can be inherited. Click it so you have unset paint as the color. And as a style preference for the actual final palette, I like to have the stroke larger. You can go to the stroke, change that to one, maybe two. However thick you'd like it is fine. A good source of inspiration for any color palette, you can never go wrong by looking towards nature. So we have the ocean scene here. Here is our square. Double check, it's on unset color. You're gonna use a tool called Tiled Clones. It's under Edit, Clone, Create Tiled Clones. That's gonna open up your menu here. You'll probably see it on the Symmetry tab, like this. And if you've ever played with it before, hit Reset. The habit is to click it a million times. <laughs> now go over to the Trace tab. The very first instruction says, trace the drawing under the clones or sprayed items. Select that box and number one will say pick from the drawing. We'll pick the color and look down here, apply the value to the clones. We're doing a color palette, so choose color. And on rows, this is just gonna depend on how long your image is. We'll do one row and 12 columns. I set this up earlier so I know it's gonna go right across perfectly and then just push create. And there it is, super, super easy. And if you've ever been to the paint stores or Home Depot, they always name their palettes. This one we'll call Beach Dream. Do another one here. I pre-made three different unset boxes, but just to show you, if I go back to fill and stroke, fill is unset. The reason there's three is I wanna show you from the same image, you can actually extract different color palettes. Create, create, create. I know they have programs and apps that can do this, but you can have a little bit of a control and see what you can extract. I probably wouldn't take 12. I might take the ones that I felt would work best for the project. I think I named this one too. What did I call it? Dragon Dreams. I should mention all of these source images are from Pexels.com and I'll have the direct links in the description below. Sometimes the links break over time, but these are courtesy of Pexels. It's pretty amazing that sometimes a source image that has a lot of drama, very moody source image, will yield the strongest color palettes. It's almost as if when you have a strong color composition, it's gonna yield a strong color palette. I like this one a lot. I hope I didn't ruin it with a bad name. What did I call this one? Sea Dream. <laughs> All right, that's it for tonight. I'm gonna to go take a shower. And please keep the questions coming in the comments. Something like this is super easy to do, but it's using a feature that's buried in there. Inkscape has it hidden unless you know where to look. All right, see you next time.